Nine minutes. I got nine minutes left on my on my um on my video that I can make. I'm just chilling right now with my dogs. These are my my little puppies. Um come on. I wanted to make a video about this, um, basically, me, I used to sleep in a pantry, dude. I used to sleep in a pantry. I don't sleep in no pantry anymore. I'm, uh, I got my own place, I have my own little comfortable spot with my comfortable furniture, my bed over there. Look at lady, lady, lady wants in on this smoke. Um, I had a friend. She's not a a real life friend. She's more of a tech friend, online friend. Asked me to do more story time. Me saying stories. I'm making videos, talking about my life, talking about. Just some of my experiences, and um, one of them is I used to sleep in a food pantry, dude. A food pantry, like you go to a place. It's a town home, and um, there's a kitchen, and there's a place where you put the trash. There's a place where you put the the Nilla wafers. I was sleeping in a fucking food pantry. Um. My dad didn't want to, um, I was 19 years old, and um, I was living with my dad's girlfriend's daughter, living in her one bedroom apartment, and um, she had an extra bed on the floor. Um, her old roommate left, and there was two little beds on the floor, and that was her place. And it was two girls living in one bedroom, they split a one bedroom apartment in Dallas, Texas. and. So, there was some room, and um, I came back home from college, and, and uh, they weren't expecting me to come back home from college. I came back because my grades weren't good, and, and I'm just trying to explain how I got to this fucking food pantry. And my dad was, I was living with my dad's girlfriend's daughter, and um, he didn't, he was helping me out with the rent, paying her for me to live there. And um, he was tired of it. He was tired of, I'm 19 years old, I don't have a job. I'm, I'm just, a, I'm just a, 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 a bum, dude, a broke kid. And um, with nothing, I had nothing, just clothes. I just had a bag, a bag of clothes and a couple of pairs of Chuck Taylors, literally two pairs. Low top and a high top. And, um, he was like, I'm done, I'm done helping you. I'm done helping you. He was helping me, but he said, I'm done. I have my own life to figure out. My, my mom, my parents were going through a separation, about to have like a divorce. So he's like, I got my own shit to figure out. So I'm not, pay I'm not helping you out no more. I'm not paying for, I'm not paying for your rent anymore, pretty much. And I had a job at a val. I was a valet driver, making six dollars an hour plus shitty to no tips. And I had a friend, in that lived in the suburbs, Plano, Texas. He was getting a townhome with another friend of mine. So two guys, they're getting a townhome together, a two bedroom. And they said, I'm I'm really good friends with these guys. And I said, I need I need a place to stay, man. My dad's not having me anymore, you know. I need a place to stay. He's like, you can you can live with us, you know, hundred bucks a month to sleep on the on the couch. And I go over there, and it's us three, and then their girlfriends. So two of my best friends and their girlfriends, and me. And it's a fucking party drug house. It was a, um, it was a. Uh, they sold dope out of it. Dope, like I'm old. They sold weed. And it was a party fucking house. And we were 19 years old, man. Having a fucking place 
to ourselves for the first time, really. Nothing but partying. And, um, so, everybody's fucking partying. Everybody's partying, everybody's having fun. And I'm trying to sleep, dude. I'm the only one that, that works and makes money legally here. <laughs> and I'm trying to sleep and nobody, uh, nobody sleeps, dude. They wake up at, we woke up at 12, 1 p.m. every day. We woke up at 12 to 1 o'clock every single fucking day. Didn't do shit with our lives, man. And, um. How I got into the pantry is everybody was up all night. Everybody was fucking just loud, obnoxious, drinking, drunk, and I'm trying to sleep. And I asked, you know, can, can I sleep in the pantry, dude? And I made the pantry my bedroom. I made the pantry my place, my home. I, there was like a little mattress on the floor in there. And I looked up and my clothes were, were hung and it was just my place my little cave, a fucking pantry, a food pantry, and, um, I was in there for, I, I didn't count the days, if I could guess, it'd be a, a couple months, to be honest, maybe two months of sleeping in a pantry, and, um, what pissed me off, made me mad, is my roommate, my friend's girlfriend, they would bring people over to the, to the town home, and, the first thing they, they would show their guests, their friends, is me. This is Vincent's room and sleeping in the a pantry. And I don't want, I'm like, why are you showing people, like, my struggles? Why are you showing people this? This isn't funny. This is funny to you. To me, this is not funny at all, dude. You're just, you're making me look bad, you know? You're making me, like, come on, dude. You're showing my dirt. And it really, it really pissed me off, man. It pissed me off. And I would wake up early in the mornings in the food pantry, and I'd get ready for jobs that um, that never hired me, man. <laughs> I'd be getting ready for jobs and just in that pantry late at night in a fucking pantry, pitch black in there. I had a I had a fan, a bed, and then my clothes. I would listen to Les Brown. I would listen to Eric Thomas. I would watch motivational videos, and I knew that one day. One day I'd make it out of that fucking pantry, man. I knew someday I was going to get, my luck was going to change. Someday I was going to work my way out of this somehow, some way. And um, long story short, my roommate, my other roommate, their girlfriends collided, drama. One of them left. One of them, the, James left. Tyler stayed. James left. He couldn't handle it anymore. His girlfriend couldn't handle it anymore. It was a bunch of drama and a bunch of shit, a bunch of drugs. Guess who had a room? I moved up and got a bedroom <laughs> for the first time. So, and um, that's how I made it out the pantry. So, yeah, that's just straight up, dude. I, I used to sleep in a fucking food pantry. Me, I used to sleep in a food pantry. People used to look at me. They, pe there's people that know this about me. And they see me now today. I don't sleep in no pantry. My bedroom is there, man. I got a closet. I got a couch if I want to sleep on a couch. I got this chair if I can sleep on this chair, dude. Um, I think about that pantry sometimes, man. I do. All right, guys. Peace out. Long video, dude. Long video. Story time. Peace out, man. If you got a bed, please, you don't have to sleep in a food pantry to appreciate your bed, man. You don't have to sleep in a, in a fucking... No, you don't have to... I don't want you to do that. I don't want... I wouldn't want anyone to do that, man. Peace out.